Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. It's Monday, July 1st and uh, we can see the markets are up about, uh, the pre-markets about 31 points. Uh, obviously coming off the back of uh, the G20 and the resumption of uh, trade talks between the US and China uh, and uh, some other news around uh, those kinds of issues. So uh, the markets are all uh, uh, green and uh, all over the world and so uh, this is uh, going to be a good time to capitalize on some of these moves here. So uh, let's if we just look at our existing positions on Apple. We are doing good. Uh, this thing should be up about 700. I think we can milk it some more. So we'll just leave it as is. On Adobe, as you can see, the short call uh, is going to be in the money. And uh, we, got, uh, we had the trade price of 2.01. And now it's going for about 4.56. And so we would need to do something here. And so what I have is the 19th july expiry our long call is in the 2nd august uh, our short call is in the 5th july so i want to buy back and and take that 2.4 dollar loss and uh, sell the 19th july of the 302.5 so this way we'll be left with the calendar and we're going to get more than 315 maybe 330 some of these option prices will move um uh, so, so somewhere around 330 maybe and uh We'll get, uh, we'll more than make up uh, for the $2.4 and we'll have some extra premium and this will make it a calendar as well. So that's what I'm planning for Adobe. On Baba, we had to recover, uh, you know, I think uh, over the last few days, this has been recovering well. It is a debit spread followed by a credit spread. So right now, it, the, the, the credit spread is still not in the money. It's at 174.5. So we'll, we'll leave it as is. Costco, we'll see how it moves today. Uh, I think it's going to move about a dollar in the pre-market, but it could move more. And so we can recover on this position as well. Gold was meant to be a hedge or, you know, if the S&P uh, goes down. But so, uh, you know, we're still going to keep it. It's just a five contract position. We are down about $200, so we'll keep it. Uh, Netflix, we have an iron condor, which is sitting quite in the middle over here between the 340 and 400. So we'll keep that one also. Shopify, we're going to have a, a decent profit here. I think it might go up even further. On Visa, what I want to do is book the profit on this call. So if you recall, Visa, we had to make up about $1,100. We are already past that point. But this short call at 175, I want to take that off and convert Visa into a debit spread at this point. So basically what I'm saying is I'll be closing this 175 call, booking this $420 profit. And if you go to Visa, then uh, what we have is uh, the 19 July expiry. Uh, the 175, 180 call, 180 call is going for about 36 cents. That's not a whole lot. And uh, so what we want to do is sell the 177.5. And this way we'll get about 90, 95 cents on this. And we'll have a very good uh, debit spread going. And so this will have a pretty good profit potential as uh, Visa goes up. So that's what I'm planning for all of these. This week, if the bullish momentum continues, uh, then we will have a, uh, a number of opportunities to look at. We can even close some of these like Baba or Apple and, and Shopify might go into profit or Visa itself. And then once we close out a couple of positions, uh, we can look at some of the bullish action. But for today, we'll just wait for some of these to uh, gain some more profit. And then once we close them out, then maybe tomorrow or day after, we can get into some new positions. Thank you.